Yusuf guys, pupunta ako ngayon kay Master kasi may papaturo ako sa kanya. So let's go. We do this every time. Si Master, we do this every time Season change and our love went cold Feed the flame cause we can't let go And few moments later Hi Master! Uy! Dito ko pala? Sige, pasok! Master! Ang turo naman mo! Paano yung circle? Ah! Circle lang ba? So, can I answer guys? Let us define first what is circle. Ano ba yung circle? A circle is a set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from the fixed point called the center. So, ano ba yung tinatawag na set of all points? At ano naman yung tinatawag na center? This is what we call the set of all points in a plane The center, ito yung point sa gitna. And then, yung circle natin ay may dalawang parts. Center at Line mula sa center papunta sa set of all points ng circle ay pinatawag nating radius. And the center and the radius are the most important parts of the circle. If you have a center and a radius, then we can define a circle. Or we can solve the circle. So we have two equations for the circle. Equation for the circle which has the center at the origin, and equation of the circle which has the center not on the origin. So the equation para sa circle na yung center niya ay sa sa origin or nasa gitna ng ating Cartesian plane is x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. At yung equation naman ng circle na ang center niya ay hindi sa origin. So we have x minus h quadrant squared plus y minus k quadrant squared equals r squared. So, those are the equations of the circles. Okay, so we have our first example. Write the equation of the circle with the given center and radius. So, our given center is at the origin and our radius is 6. Okay, so kapag yung center natin ay nasa origin, matik na yan na yung equation natin is x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. Yung kailangan natin dito hanapin is yung radius. Then we have here the given radius which is 6. Therefore, our equation is x squared plus y squared equals to 6 squared. Or 
x squared plus y squared equals to 36. Pwede din natin i-expand yung radius natin. So for our second example, uh, we are going to write the equation of the circle with the given center at negative 2 and positive 3 with the given radius equals to 5. So in this uh, example, our center is not on the origin. Therefore, we are going to use this equation. x minus h quantity squared plus uh, y minus k quantity squared equals to r squared. And then the center is what we call the h and the k of our circle. Therefore, we are going to substitute the value of h and k and the value of r in our equation. So we have x minus the value of h is negative 2. So substitute negative 2 quantity squared plus y minus the value of k is positive 3. So we have y squared equals to the value of r is 5. 5. And then 5 squared. Okay, so let us now simplify our equation. 2 that is x plus 2 quantity squared plus y minus 3 quantity squared equals to 5 squared is 25. And that is the equation of our circle. So guys, kuha nyo na. Sana all nakuha na. <laughs> so ngayon, mag-graph naman tayo na circle. There are three easy steps in graphing a circle. Okay, so first, locate the center. Next, locate the radius. And last, draw the circle. Okay, for example number one, uh, sketch the graph of the circle with the equation of x squared plus y squared equals 9. Okay. So, yung equation natin is x squared plus y squared equals 9. Therefore, yung um, center natin ay no sa origin. Therefore, the coordinate pairs of our center is 0 and 0. And our radius is equal to 3. So, bakit naging 3? Kasi according sa ating ano, uh, equation, uh, we have here 9, so that is the value of r squared. So if we are going to find the value of r, so we are going to extract the square root of uh, r squared. And then the square root of 9 is 3. Therefore, our radius is 3. Okay, so since we have the details of our circle, now we can graph our circle in our Cartesian plane. According to our problem, our center is at 0, 0 and our radius is 3. Okay, so first in graphing a circle, I gagawa muna tayo ng x and y axis. Okay, so yung line na nakatayo, yan yung y axis. At yung nakahiga naman ay si x-axis. Okay, so first we are going to locate the center. Our center is 0, 0. If the coordinate points are 0, 0, then that is your origin. So saan ba yung origin ng ating Cartesian plane? Yun yung intersection ng x and y-axis. So, dito yung origin natin. At ito din yung center ng circle natin. 
Second step, locate the radius. So according to the definition natin, yung radius is the distance of the set of all points of the circle from the center. Okay, so radius. Radius is the units away from the center. Or ito yung distance mula sa center papunta sa set of all points ng ating circle. Okay, so para malocate natin yung radius, we are going to count 3 units away from the center. Okay, so this is ang radius. 1, 2, 3. So, according to the definition, that is equidistance from the center. Kung 3 units dito, ibig sabihin, 3 units din pa pataas, pag at pababa. And, this is our points that we are going to trace or sketch our circle. Okay, so let's sketch the circle. Paano ba mag-sketch ng circle? Talaga, ikot lang, ikot, ikot, ikot. Okay, so we're going to start from here. Okay, so just imagine na yung circle natin ay perfect. So after natin madrop yung circle, yung last step na lang is lagyan natin na label. Sana on my label. And that is how we graph our circle. Ano ba? Opo, master! So for our second example, we are going to sketch the graph of a circle with the equation of x plus 1 quantity squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared equals 4. First, we are going to get the center and the radius of this equation. So according to the equation, our the value of h and k is our center. So, the value of h is negative 1, negative 1, and the value of k is positive 2. And the value of r, square root of 4, is 2. Okay, so now, let's do the graphing. So, ito yung given natin. Yung central natin is nasa negative 1 and positive 2. And yung radius natin is units. So, before we graph, magawa muna tayo ng uh, partition plane. Yung x axis at yung y axis. Okay. And then, we're going to take our center. Our center is negative 1 and positive 2. Therefore, uh, center is on the second quadrant or hindi tumanda yung ating center because this is negative 1 and the value of y is positive so magkawin tayo dito this is 1 and this is 2 therefore this is our center at huwag kalimutan na label Next step, we are going to locate the radius. So, radius is the distance away from the center. Okay, so our radius is 2. Therefore, there are 2 units away from the center. And before we draw the circle. Okay, so uh, para malocate yung radius natin is mag-count tayo ng 2 units mula sa center going to the right, left, up, and down. Okay, so two units. This is one. One, this is two, therefore, this is our uh, radius. Two units. One, two, and one, two, this is our uh, radius. And one, two, this is our radius.
Cute. No, not nothing. Ako lang ni Master. Okay? And then, tapang tayo ito ng 2 minutes. Going up. 1, 2, so, 1, 2, 1. And then, huwag kalimutan na lagyan ng label. So, yung label dito is, yung X is positive 1, at yung Y is positive 2. Dito naman, yung X is negative 1, yung Y naman is 1, 2, 3, 4. Positive 4. And yung points, at yung point naman dito, this is X and negative 2 and negative 3. This is negative 3, yung X. And then, yung Y natin is positive now, may mga label na yung radius natin. Therefore, we can now draw the circle. Okay, so draw natin yung circle. So, ito. And, ganyan. So, just imagine na yung circle natin ay perfect. <laughs> so that's all for today and I hope you have learned something about circuits. This is Sir Dalaka, your Rika teacher. Ciao! Pareha sky craft. Circuit. Alam niyo kung bakit? Kasi sa kanya lang umiikot yung mundo. <laughs>